Hi, this is Darren Hardy, publisher of Success Magazine. I felt compelled to create this message to try to counteract the doom and gloom that's continually being pumped into our heads by media and in the heads of those people that we rely on to support our dreams and ambitions and offer an alternative view of our current times. I think to first understand why media is doing what they're doing, we need to understand the business of traditional media. See, they get their revenue through advertising, and what advertising wants is your attention. The bigger the audience, the more that they're willing to pay. Now here's the problem. The number of newspapers, TV stations, radio stations, print publications has exploded over the last 25 years. It's a hundred times today what it was just 25 years ago. So it's harder and more difficult to get your attention. So they resort to shock and sensationalism. Now why is that, you might ask? They understand the psychology of our nature. We are attracted to travesty, attracted to misfortune, attracted to sensationalism. Now you might say, well, that's, that's not true. Let me give you an example. Have you ever been on a freeway? Traffic starts getting stacked up. You can't figure out why. And then after a long period of frustration, you finally realize that there was an accident several hours ago that had been pushed to the side, and there are emergency vehicles there. And the only thing that caused the traffic to stack up were people turning and looking at what had happened in the accident. In other words, rubberneckers. And you're furious that this is what has caused this great delay. But as you pass the accident yourself, what do you do? You look. Now, do you really want to see such misfortune? Do you really want to see something grotesque? You might say not, but you look. And this is what the advertisers know. They know that you will look, and that is what they're trying to get, is your attention. Now, because the competition has grown uh, so abundant, they have to resort to more and more shock and sensationalism to try to get your attention. The unfortunate thing is this has created a distorted view of the world. See, the same time they're reporting the five murders that took place around the country, the ten terrible economic or political happenings that happened throughout that day, there were thousands of wondrous, miraculous, and beautiful things that happened all over the world that same day, but you don't hear about them. Why? Because you're not really that interested. That's the unfortunate thing. See, take that same freeway, and let's imagine there was a beautiful, miraculous sunset on the side of the freeway traffic is whizzing at normal pace. See, it's not that that traffic will slow for. It is the shock and the sensationalism. Now, here is the major problem and the point to this. We are creative magnetic beings. Whatever it is that we think about is what it is that we create. And because we're watching all of this news media and it's constantly being pumped into our head, into our consciousness, it's what we're thinking about. It's what we're expecting. We're creating it over and over and over again. This is the major problem of what's going on in our news cycle today. Let me break it down for you. It's as simple as this. Everything that you have in life right now, you have created. We all come into this experience naked and scared. Now, where you're at now is a culmination of all the actions, inactions, choices, reactions that you have created. So what do we create? We create what we expect. Expectation determines the direction of your creation. What do we expect? Our expectations are made up of our thoughts, what we think about, and we are thinking about whatever input you are receiving. If you're listening to the radio on the way to the office and they're rehashing through all the gloom and glum news headlines, that is what you will be thinking about. That sets your expectation, thus becomes what you start creating in your life. This is a horrible cycle and it has to stop. Let me give you a metaphor to try to help this make more sense. Your mind is like an empty glass. We all come into this world with a fresh empty glass. Negative, lurid, gloomy, sensational input is like pouring dirty water into your glass. Now your mind can only create dark, gloomy, and negative experiences for your life. Here's the remedy. Just like a dirty glass of water, if you run it under the faucet of clean water, it'll flush out all the dirty water. If you leave it under there long enough, eventually it'll flush it all out and you'll have nothing but clean, clear, fresh water. The faucet of clean, fresh water represents positive, supportive, and inspiring input. With a glass full of clean, positive, and abundant-minded thoughts, that's exactly what you'll create. This is why it is so critical to continually be flushing your mind with positive, success-minded thoughts and ideas. 
All right, now I have three recommendations to try to counteract the constant barrage that this media is having on our environment today. Number one is be a discerning consumer of information. Limit your access to all the messages that are constantly being pumped through the speakers in your car, through the TV sets in your, in your living room, through the uh, headlines on your newspapers, and all the stuff that you're finding within typical traditional magazine articles. Limit that. Now, it's important to be informed, but take it in small doses. See, each, each of those inputs are like putting dirty water into your glass. Number two, be sure to flush your glass on a regular basis. You need a constant dose of positive, supportive, and inspiring ideas and information. Now, I know this is going to sound like a commercial, but now more than ever is there a need for hope and possibility thinking. Success Magazine, this is what we do. This is what we're about. Supporting today's entrepreneurs, supporting ambition, supporting the achievers, moving forward, progress, and ideas, inspiration, models, mentors. That's what we put into the pages of Success Magazine. One of my favorite features is what we do in the CD and DVD that gets bound into the magazine. Use that. Put that in your car on your way to the office. It'll change your mindset. It'll put those positive thoughts. It'll put that inspiration into your being. You'll go out into the world and start creating that as a result of having that fresh, clean water in your glass. And three, think about all those people around you, those that you need to be successful in order to accomplish your own dreams and ambitions. What's going into their glass? Support the idea of them getting Success Magazine, them listening to the dual disc that we put inside the, the publication, them going on success.com or finding some of the resources by great exports at the Success Store. Be cognizant of all the people around you constantly flushing their glass of positive and inspiring and abundant-minded thoughts. All right, now that you know how news and information affects your mind and thus your outcomes in life, I truly want to offer you an alternative view of our current economic times. I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but this is the most opportune time to be an entrepreneur. Again, I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but I'll prove it to you. Watch the next video and I'll show you why.